Hello my darlings, it's Smitty back for part number two on ice valves. And what I'm going to talk about here is the valve itself, what it's called, and the important areas of the valve. Ta -da. Okay, in 99 plus percent of all internal combustion plant engines on this planet, they have these type of valves in them. They're called puppet valves. Remember how I said the valves pop up, down, open, close, pop, pop open, pop, close. For a long time, when I was young, I thought that because the valves popped up, that's where the name came from for puppet valves. That's incorrect. Might as well straighten that misconception out right now. It actually comes from Middle French word puppet. English translation, puppet. And the reason they call these valves that is because think of a marionette type puppet where you have the strings and the puppet master up here. The puppet master is doing an action here and getting the results down here remotely. And that's what these puppet valves do. Somewhere else in the engine there is a camshaft that is creating motion and that is transferred to the puppet valve and it opens and closes and opens and closes as determined by a remote camshaft. Ta-da! Just that simple. Alright, this valve by the way was invented in 1833 by an engineer called A.E.G. Young. And I believe he worked for a British railroad, uh, the Newcastle um, Railroad, something like that. But then my 60-year-old memory of this is a little, uh, leaves me a bit wanting sometimes. Okay, so puppet valves. Here's one in my hand. We'll look at it a little closer in a minute. Here are the parts of a puppet valve. Start up at the top. The end here is the tip, and it's usually hardened, and that's because there's a mechanical action going on here that forces it to come, pop open. Just below that, there is a groove, a built-in, machined in to the, and this is where the valve keeper mechanism goes that locks the valve to the return spring or whatever mechanism closes it. So you have the retaining groove, and now you're into the main stem of the valve. That's this straight section here, and it extends down until the cross-sectional area changes, and then you're, you're moving into the neck area here. And then there's a radius out to the tulip, also known as the mushroom end. Sometimes these are called mushroom valves, sometimes they're called tulip valves. Two different words, same puppet valve, okay? And then this band here, that's the sealing area to where this valve seals and holds pressure. Also, I couldn't draw it here, but uh, if you look end on, that's the face of the valve here, the valve face, and that face is exposed to the combustion chamber. So there you go. There's your poppet valve made out of steel. Okay, so we have the inventor. We have the important areas of the valve. And that concludes part two of the valve and valve train informational series. In our next video, we'll talk about the materials these valves are made out of. Not always the same. Hope to see you on part three.